a safety alert in Lynchburg that every pet owner needs to know about. A rabid cat attacked a man, his puppy, and a neighbor's dog last week. Now Animal Control wants people to be careful when feeding feral cats. 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant is live in Lynchburg. So Magdala, what did this man say happened to him? He didn't want to speak on camera and he doesn't want his name in the news, but he tells me he's doing well and called this a bad situation. Last Friday in a neighborhood near Longhorn Road in Lynchburg, a man was attacked by a cat. He told me he was walking out his house at 6.15 Friday morning when the cat attacked him and ran after his two and a half month old English Bulldog. We were able to uh, pick up the cat without incident um, and also take it to get it tested. Test results came back positive for rabies. Animal Control believes the cat was infected through communal feeding. And anytime you have several different cats that are fighting for a food source, um, you know, you'll have uh, cat scratches, cat bites, and if the cats aren't rabies vaccinated, um, it, you know, the, the spread of rabies uh, can flow from one cat to another. Health experts want to remind the community if you are feeding stray cats, it's your responsibility to make sure they are vaccinated for rabies. Feeding cats like that outside not only feeds the cats, but it can off, off, also often attract raccoons and skunks, which are the main carriers of rabies. Lynchburg's Animal Control says in the last year they've only had one cat that's been infected with rabies. They say it's not an epidemic, but to keep this from becoming a problem, they ask you contact the Lynchburg Humane Society. It's called the Trap, Neuter and Return or Release Program um, to where if you get a hold of them um, and have stray cats, um, they'll trap, they'll, they have experts that have come out and trap, neuter and release. Um, so, and they're also giving rabies vaccinations. Um, that way we can kind of lower uh, this problem that we have. LPD says this is still an ongoing investigation. They plan on releasing new details in the future. In this story online, you'll see symptoms of a rabid cat and what to do. And the man who was attacked by that cat tells me he will be getting vaccinated just to be safe. Live in Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.